Hello and happy carnival, my friends. Welcome to all my new and returning subscribers to my Southern Kitchen and the 346th episode here on Ellen's Homemade Delights. I'm Ellen. Hope all you're doing well. My friends, if you're a fan of chocolate cake, y'all are in for a treat. Today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make a traditional dessert from Brazil, Brigadeiro Chocolate Cake. And my friends, it is the bomb.com. It is full of chocolate flavor, simple and easy to make. And we're going to top it with a homemade chocolate ganache. Mmm, mmm. How yummy does that sound? This is comfort food at its best. It is the ultimate chocolate dessert. This is perfect on a cold winter day. And once you taste this, you'll be going back for seconds. And I'll post a complete recipe along with the instructions down below in the description box. And also check out my Brazilian recipes playlist for more recipes and my previous video, Cajun Seafood Balls. I'll also post a link to those down below in the description box. So grab your chocolate powder, your flour, and your baking pan sugar, because we're about to bake some Brigadario chocolate cake magic in my southern kitchen. Here we go! All right, my friends, the first step we're going to do is sift the dry ingredients. In my bowl, and my sifter, I have two cups of stuffed rice and flour. And we're going to add in two teaspoons of baking soda. And instead of using cocoa powder, we're going to use chocolate Nesquik powder. That's right, sugar, chocolate Nesquik powder. It's going to give it a great chocolatey flavor. And I'm using a third of a cup. and two cups of white sugar. I'm just going to add a little at a time. And then I'll add the rest. I'm just going to sift the dry ingredients together. All right, my friends, I'm through sifting the dry ingredients. Now we're going to set them aside while we work on the wet ingredients. All right, my friends, in my measuring cup, I have one cup of sweet milk that let come to room temperature. Sweet milk is selling talk for whole milk. We're going to add in a half a cup of canola oil. Two extra large eggs at room temperature. And one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. I'm going to Stir all together until it's well incorporated. All right, my friends, now we're going to slowly add the wet into the dry. Mix it on medium speed. And there's one more ingredient we got to add to it. We're going to add in one cup of freshly brewed hot coffee. I'm using decaf or you can use the original. It's going to give it that intense chocolatey flavor. Mix that in until it's well combined. All right, my friends, the cake batter is complete. Mmm, I can smell the coffee. And look how smooth it, the cake batter is. And you see how simple and easy this recipe is? All right, that looks great. Now we're ready to pour the batter into the pan. We're going to pour it in a 9 times 13 inch baking pan that agrees with baking spray. All right, my friends, now we're ready to put our chocolate cake in the oven. We're going to put it in the preheated 
350 degree oven and we're gonna let it bake for about 40 to 50 minutes all right I'll bring you back all right my friends I have taken my chocolate cake out of the oven mm, it smells amazing up in this kitchen all right so now we're gonna let the cake cool and while that's cooling we're gonna get started on that luscious chocolate ganache all right my friends in my pot I got the fire over medium low heat I add in one 14 ounce can of sweetened condensed milk and we're going to add in a fourth of a cup plus two tablespoons of the Nesquik chocolate powder give that a quick stir we're going to bring this to a slight simmer All right, my friends, our chocolate ganache is almost complete. All right, that looks great. So now I cut the fire off. I'm going to add in the last two ingredients. Two tablespoons of unsalted butter and one teaspoon of pure vanilla extract. Stir all this together until the butter melts. And then we're going to pour it on top of the chocolate cake. All right, here we go. OMG. Look at here, look at here. <laughs> Just pour that chocolate ganache right on top. And spread it around. And this is great to serve warm or cold. I just swallowed my tongue. <laughs> Alright my friends, so now we're going to let the cake sit for a few minutes until the ganache thicken. Alright my friends, there you have it. Brigidario chocolate cake. Done that look pretty. And off camera, I garnish it with some chocolate sprinkles. A must have in Brigidario. And the ganache is nice and thick. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. All right, I'm about to fix me up a plate and I'll give it a taste. All right, my friends, I fixed me up a plate and I garnished it with some whipped cream and some chocolate sprinkles on top. Now it's time for the best part, the tasting. Here we go. Oh yeah, look at that texture. Give me a little whipped cream. Mm-mm. It is so more than just melts in your mouth. Bursting with chocolate goodness. I'm in heaven. <laughs> Please give this recipe a try. Y'all gonna love this dessert. This deserve another bite. It is so decadent. Yum o, Brigidario cake delicious. My friends, many thanks so much for watching and joining me in my southern kitchen today. If you enjoyed this video and this recipe, please give it a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. Don't forget to share this with your family and friends. Like, comment, subscribe to my channel, and click on the bell so that way you'll be notified when my new videos come out. And I'll see you next time. Let's eat. Much love and happy carnival.